Namaste. Well, I thought we would take a break from the Sutra of the day and talk about astrology, Jyotish. Now, the meaning of Jyotish is the first light or the light of God. There are several ways to interpret it. Jyoti, of course, is light. And Isha may be interpreted in several different ways. Basically, it means the first. So Isha refers to God because God is the first being. All other beings and the creation are derived from God. So the light of God, the first light, is what is perceived by the being at the time of birth. At the birth, the being has been in the womb, especially the human being, has been in the womb for nine or ten months. And what light there is, is filtered through the mother's body. The same with the air, the same uh, with the food. Everything is filtered through the mother. But at the time of partuition, when the infant comes out into the world, takes his first breath and sees light with his own eyes for the first time. This is the first light. And because of this, the birth chart is a picture of a person's karma. Now, there are three types of karma. Sanchari karma is the whole repository of all karmas, all reactions to work. But prarabdha karma is the karma that's ripe, that's due in this very life. And then there's Kriyamana karma, which is the karma that is created in this life, but will be experienced in future lives. So let's take a look at karma. What is karma? The whole universe is a unit. It is created as one thing. Everything that has happened, everything that is happening, and everything that's going to happen is all created at the very beginning. Now, this may be hard for us to understand, but to a higher intelligence, it's pretty obvious. Everything is completely predetermined. And it's a mix of the qualities of material nature. The 32 tattvas, the three gunas, and time. And we, as jivas, those who are born, move through time at a predetermined rate. So the karma that we experience in this lifetime is already determined and we are put in a particular body, in a particular womb, because we have karma that matches that particular body's experiences. Karma does not change. Once we are born, it's fixed. If karma could be changed, then the science of astrology would be useless for prediction because we make a prediction and then maybe something changes and it doesn't come true. But this is not the case. If our predictions don't come true, it's because we're not very good at astrology. <laughs> that this life is completely determined. And the Kriyamana karma is created by our response to this life. 
as we go through life, we have many experiences. And whether we consider those enjoyable or not enjoyable or dual or neither, <laughs> that creates further karma to be experienced in future lives. Now, the whole point of spiritual life is to get free from karma, to get free from future birth and death. So astrology, number one, gives us a map of the predetermined karma of this life. And it can warn us and prepare us for what is to come so that we can detach ourselves from these experiences and view them in a meditative way, which frees us from karmic reaction. You understand? In other words, it is not that the planets control what is happening. That is an erroneous understanding. But the planets are incarnations of Vishnu in various aspects. This is given in the Parashara or Shastra, which is the seminal Vedic work on astrology. Parashara says that each of the nine planets of Vedic astrology is an incarnation of Vishnu in various aspects. And in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, as an incarnation of Vishnu, says, I am time. Let that sink in for a minute. So the planets aren't causes of our karma. The planets are like a clock that tells us what time it is. Because each planet has a particular cycle. For example, the sun's cycle is one year. The moon's cycle is 27 point something days. Mercury's cycle is about the same as the sun's. But Venus is about five months. Mars is about two years. Jupiter's 12 years, Saturn's 27 years, Rahu and Ketu are 18 and a half years. So as we go through life, every so often, according to the length of the cycle, each planet will go around its complete cycle. And so it's just like the hands of a clock, but it's a clock that has nine hands instead of two or three. So astrology, in other words, tells us where we are in the cycle of each planet. And that, in turn, tells us where we are in the repeating cycle of our karmas, which are revealed at the moment of birth, with the first light the first air, the first sound that we experience in this life. So in this way, astrology can show us uh, the karma, the prarabdha karma for this life. And it also gives us a way to predict, based on the planetary cycles, how this karma is going to play out in real time. So that enables us to prepare so that we are not surprised, we are not overwhelmed, we're not blindsided by the things that happen. But we know what's coming, and we know also approximately how long it's going to last. I'll give you an example from my own life. Recently, Rahu and Ketu came back to their original positions in my chart, which is something like uh, 
18 degrees Scorpio for Ketu and 18 degrees Taurus for Rahu. That means a single cycle of Rahu and Ketu is complete. And since Rahu is the dispositor of karma and Ketu is uh, the annihilator of karma, what this means is a new karmic cycle begins. This happens every 18 and a half years. And every time that this happens in my life, I have gone through lower back problems, for one, for one thing. Also, I've gone through spiritual awakenings. And then so many other phenomena connected with these things. The beginnings of major relationships, the beginnings of major shifts in my career and work, all have begun right around the time of Rahu Ketu return. It's called a return, when a planet returns to its original position as in the birth chart. And also, at the same time, Jupiter is conjunct my natal sun, which also marks termination of a Jupiter cycle. So it's been a time of tremendous openings and changes for me. And I knew this was coming. Huh? I could see it a long ways off. <laughs> and so I went back and I looked at all the times previously in my life when these particular combinations occurred. And so I knew pretty much what to expect. And sure enough, right on schedule, my lower back went out. <laughs> it's healing now. It's coming back. And I had another tremendous spiritual opening into a whole new realm of realization. And also uh, my career and uh, various aspects of my work are going through a big expansion and change. So this was entirely predictable just by knowing the time, the astrological cycles and the points in those cycles that are sensitive and that give karmic results. But the nature of those results was determined at the time of birth. So in other words, the planets don't cause anything. Uh, they, this is one thing that materialists like the scientists and sectarian religionists use to argue against astrology. They say, well, what is the mechanism by which the planets cause things to happen? And they have a good point. But what they don't understand is that karma created in previous lives is expressed at the moment of birth in the first light that we perceive with our own eyes, in the first breath that we take with our lungs, and in the first sound that we hear with our ears. And that these influences then pattern the brain, the whole physiology, actually. And then the cycles every so often, every so many years, determine how these things play out in life. And that's what astrology is about. You see, again, as we've talked about so many times, the incarnations, the forms of God, are metaphors for cosmic energies, shaktis. And, and this is all described in detail in Parashara's book, Hora Shastra. So I'm thinking of doing a series on astrology and describing how all these things work in detail. So if you would find this interesting, if you would like to do, uh, see this series, let me know in the comments, and uh, then I'll know, you know how much interest there is in the subject of astrology. 
uh, looked at from the original Vedic point of view. And that's why I call my astrological work First Light Jyotisha. So thank you very much. Do leave a comment. Let me know of your interests, and then we'll see if we want to proceed further. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.